Hello and welcome to yet another video. Today we have a B350 Gaming Pro Carbon. We had this board before in here from MSI with a Ryzen 7 1700X in there. So the story of this board, this is actually sent in by a viewer of mine from Austria. And they tried to update this board with the 1700X in here, so update the BIOS of it. And to get, I think, some kind of 5000 series processor to work in here. And they had a problem booting up afterwards because I think it shut down or something like that during the update process. And now they can't get the CPU to work. And they also tested it in a different system. So we will have to see for the CPU and also for the main board what is up with them. So let's get power connected onto here. Get RAM into here. And let's also put the postcard into here. And let's now see for the passive power consumption. We have very low power consumption, very, very low power consumption. Let's see, this is our header that we need for the power button. So let's see now. We have reaction to the power button. Let's see, we have CPU LED. And we are stuck on a CPU LED. No, po uh, no beep codes, no post codes, nothing. Is the CPU getting hell hot? Yeah, the CPU is getting hot. So okay, so this CPU doesn't seem to react. Let's just instantly start with trying another CPU. So let's get my 2200G in here. And let's see. 1.9 amps and still stuck CPU LED. So no change with the 2200G. Let's get a 3000 series processor in here because they did try to flash the BIOS. So this is a 3000G. Let's try with that. And we still do have a stuck CPU LED. So first thing I want to have a look at is if there's anything knocked off around the CPU socket that makes us being stuck on a CPU LED. So let's go for some visual in inspection. This is the corner of the CPU socket. And let's start around here. Very often we have VDDP close to here, which would be necessary for the processor to start up. This is around the BIOS chip. We have our coin cell. And nothing obvious so far. Over here. Looks fairly clean so far. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's see here. This is for the Vico. So this is the PWM controller. This is just a hair. Interesting that there's a little bit of exposed copper there. But nothing seems to be damaged around there. Yeah, nothing really I can find here. No obvious damage so far for the board. Let's go around the SIO. So let's see if there might be something knocked off here. Okay, nothing seems off here. Everything looks fine. Let's see, this is the 3 vsb circuit. I don't think there's any problem here. So nothing obvious on the front. Let's check the back. This side here kind of looks like it's that someone was soldering here. Very, very interesting. Like, you see how much solder there is on these components here? This looks like someone has been working on here before. And no one told me about that. Okay. Let's just keep that in mind. We might want to check that area under the uh, board view. If these are the right components that are fitted here. So no obvious damage uh, so far to be seen here. So what I will do now is I will be connecting to this TPM header that we have right here. Right above the BIOS chip. 
connect that to my programmer and program the BIOS and see if that can already have a change for our main board here. So I was now able to flash the board. Let's turn it on. We have the same power consumption. Let's try to press the power button. We have the 1700X in here, which is the CPU that was provided uh, with the main board and let's see if we get to VGA LED So we have CPU and CPU went off and it turns on and let's see we should get DD uh, DRAM and then VGA next seven and a half amps. That's a lot of amps. That is a hungry processor Let's see and there's VGA now it complains about missing VGA. That is very good to see. So this seems to be indeed a issue with the BIOS. So let's put a GPU into here. And let's also put some more RAM into here. And now let's turn on with all of the RAM populated and a GPU in here. And would you look at that? That looks like a post screen. Really seemed like only a failed BIOS flash. Let's get a cooler onto here, onto the 1700X. So the board is now booted up with the 1700X. Let's see in the system. We have the 1700X 8 core CPU in here. All of the RAM is present. And now I will be running Linpack. So I will be doing the stress test and as soon as that is done, I will get you back into here. So the board now has passed the stress test without any problems. So the 1700X is also fu fully functional, which is very good because the thing was that the previous owner had problems uh, verifying on another board with the 1700X. And yeah, but I, ca I cannot see any problem here. So now the board is fixed. All there was was a BIOS issue. So all there was was a failed BIOS flash and that caused the issue. And yeah, so a stuck CPU LED can also be a, a failed BIOS flash, especially if you have very high power consumption like we had about 2.2 amps, then it also can be just a failed BIOS flash. So I will, I'm very happy that I was able to help that person uh, get their board back to working and verify that the 1700X is also working. So. Thank you very much for watching. As always, all of my tools are linked in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you subscribe and that you ca I can see you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.